Okay, so here is um, my gear for the 2020 Appalachian Trail hike that I will attempt starting in April. And I'll just go over it real quick. Uh, obviously, this is the sit pad, uh, Sawyer squeeze, some bug spray, TP, toothbrush, inhaler, because I'm asthmatic, um, night core. I also have a, another one, but it's a little bit heavier than this. And I got to use this on the PCT. It lasted really well. It um, charges by USB. Um, tent pole, uh, tent stakes, a little um, deuce for making kettles. That's about all the cords I need because I don't have a big setup with cameras and all that. <clears throat> These are just some little generic camp shoes that I picked up to slip on. They're super light and if they get lost, no big deal. I put everything, <laughs> this is my tiny little Gerber knife. Um, probably fine for what I need. Tylenol, I have another one because I'm gonna put some multivitamins there. Uh, little fingernail file, everything goes in the Sawyer bag and so that it kind of stays together. This is the um, poncho that I just bought. It is called Red Camp. You can put your pack underneath it and it can be a tarp and all this other stuff, but I'll probably just use it as a poncho because I don't want to get wet. Um, these are my hiking poles, which have been fantastic. Very strong. I trip a lot and they've kept me from completely falling all the way down. Um, they're by Montum and they're awesome. They, um, have the cork grips and the whole deal as you can see okay so now moving on to my cook system which is this uh i actually don't even remember what the name brand of this is it's just a little titanium 700 ml with <clears throat> with a little lid a lighter um a tiny canister that's my little itty bitty BR. Uh, is it BRS? 3000 stove. It's there. Um, this is just cord for hanging the bear bag. And then this is what I'll be using as a bear bag. This. Um, I don't plan on buying the big Z Packs bear bag or anything like that. I don't see the purpose for it. Um, this is the knock bladder. I like it because it opens at the back and really big and I did have some problem trying to get water into a small little opening in the past so that's two liters um, there's my tent and it is a z-packs duplex in camouflage because I am modest and I heard that that's very dark and I don't need to be showing everybody my business out in the woods this is my um, sleeping bag, and it is underground quilts. It's a zero degree bag, and it's super warm. Um, this is my sleeping pad. I keep it in here. This is a little seat assignment bag. Um, the bag that it came in it was kind of hard to get it back in, so I got a bag that was a little bit bigger, so I don't have to um, struggle with it. But it's it's by Pariah, and it's looks a lot like the um, X-Lite. It has worked really great so far and it's super warm. Okay, now onto clothes. This is just a little stuff sack for my puffy coat. My puffy coat is by Eddie Bauer. It is 800 um, downfill, I believe. I can't recall actually. Works great though. Um, Here's a raincoat. It's Marmot Precip and rain pants, and those are Columbia Storm Surge. And then I have these pair of socks, and they're really thick. I mean, they're wool, which I guess is good, but I think they're probably too thick. I'm gonna try to get some darn tough ones instead. And um, little Injun G socks with their silly little toes. Okay. Some just regular 
little gloves. I don't know, I might trade those out. And a little hat in case I get cold at night. Uh, I'm setting all this on my dirty floor. That's why it all looks all dusty. Because my son has a dog. And she sheds. <laughs> so this is like a little three-quarters zip fleece mid-weight. Or I get cold really easy. So it's super light. Very light. But um, still warm. And here's just um, a couple of pairs of underwear and a sports bra. And um, then I'll probably, these are just um, smart wool bottoms and a smart wool three quarter zip top. I'll probably use that to sleep in. Um, like I said, I do get very, very cold, so I will need to be warm. Let's see. These are just actually just biking shorts um, because I don't like baggy shorts because when I walk they gather and that drives me crazy I hate it so biking shorts they're tight they stay in place no big deal um, and for if on colder days I have like the Nike Pro pants that are like stretchy tights or whatever and um, I'll wear those I have two different kinds of t-shirts I thought I would take them both um, they have high collars because I don't like low collars because then you end up getting sunburned on the girls and that's no fun. So these are um, Under Armour and this one is called 32 Degrees Cool and um, they're both super light and um, this one's probably a little bit lighter. You might even be able to see through it, but they'll dry really fast. They're synthetic and uh, let's see. And then I'll be putting all of my clothes in the two stuff sacks there. That's the Z-Packs stuff sack with the, uh, I don't know if I can open this with one hand. It has the fleece inside, so you can flip it inside out, use it as a second pillow. And then this little Z-Packs bag that I'll put other stuff in. And so I believe that is everything from top to bottom that I will be needing to use on the trail. And I waited today without the stuff that I'm wearing, which I put one shirt and the pants without the fuel and without the hiking poles. It came to 11.6 pounds. And so that might change a little bit because I do plan to get the socks, um, two pairs of darn tough socks instead of those. So. But um, I don't imagine it'll change too much, and I still think that that's a pretty good base weight. And I'm carrying it all, of course, in my lovely <laughs> Z-Pax Arc Blast, which um, it fits great. I've had no problems getting everything in there. It is fabulous. It cinches down really nice. It hugs my body very well. Oh, yeah, I forgot my crazy little, um, I don't even know, I think that's outdoor research, little baseball hat, because I'm a ginger, and I get really hot and turn red. So, that's everything. I will see you guys on the trail.